Well, it's that time of year again. It's time for me to take my car to CarMax for an appraisal. Now, for those of you who don't know what CarMax is, it's this giant dealer group here in the States that says they will buy any used car, no matter how crappy or old, they'll buy any used car. So my readers have always begged me to take my cars to CarMax, and I've always done it. It's become kind of a tradition. I brought my Ferrari to CarMax, I brought my Hummer to CarMax, I brought my Skyline GTR to CarMax, and now it's time to see what CarMax will offer me for my Aston Martin. Now, before I go do this, one quick word. Every time I do it, a small but vocal minority of you says, why are you wasting their time? Well, in addition to the free publicity that CarMax gets from these videos, I go at 9 a.m. on a Tuesday. The place is dead. It's like walking into a national forest, except it's staffed by people wearing blue polo shirts. Now, let's talk money. I bought this car eight months ago for $45,000 plus the bumper to bumper warranty, which was about three grand. Now, since then, I've driven the car 10,500 miles, which is an unprecedented amount for an Aston Martin. It usually takes a car like this five years to accumulate 10,000 miles. I think that's going to have a slightly negative impact on the value. So what do I think they'll offer? Well, given that CarMax deals in wholesale prices, not retail, because CarMax doesn't sell Aston Martins, they're just gonna flip this at auction. And given that I put 10,500 miles on this car in the last eight months, I suspect the offer is going to be something like $30,000. Considering I paid 45,000 for it, this will make me cry. And so, let's go to CarMax. Now, unfortunately, I have to drive to a location 45 minutes from my house because the two closer ones recognize me from that whole CarMax Range Rover debacle, which, by the way, will be getting an update soon. Also, unfortunately, I can't show you what happens at CarMax unless I get releases from the people there. So instead, I'm going to act it out for you. Here's what happened. I walked in. Hi, I'd like to get an appraisal for my vehicle. Certainly, sir. And what type of vehicle is it? It's an Aston Martin. Oh, now, isn't that the James Bond car? But things picked up from there. The first sales associate who dealt with me talked to me at length about Formula One racing. The next one, as he was appraising the car, casually mentioned that he had previously owned a Noble M12 and currently owned a Ferrari 348. This always happens every time I go to CarMax. There's always a bunch of car enthusiasts. I always think I can get one over on them and they always say something like, oh, you got a 90 Skyline GTR? Yeah, I had a 91 Skyline GTR and you know, you're missing the Pericles bearing, so that's gonna be $2,000 off the value. And I'm always like, how do you know that? Next up, they took the car for a test drive, which I imagine looked something like this. And then it came time for the final appraisal, which was $30,000. That's right, I got it right. And I celebrated just like that in the CarMax, which made them think that I was even crazier than they already thought I was. To find out how I think they came to that number, click the link below to check out my column on autotrader.com oversteer. And with that, another chapter of CarMax Appraise the Doug Car is complete. Mm -hmm.